corn cobs and catalogs, what do they have in common? Well, believe it or not, until about the 1940s, you would find them in outhouses. Indeed, the uh, farmlands in mid-USA used to be called the corn cob and catalog belt. Why? Because this was pre-toilet paper. And it turned out that corn cobs were kind of soft and pages could be torn from catalogs and used for free to uh, kind of get the remnants of uh, nature's call. Well, when this whole COVID uh, pandemic started, we had ideas of having to go back to corn cobs and catalogs because there was a shortage of toilet paper. Uh, actually, there really wasn't. It was just a perception. Uh, paper production was deemed to be an essential service and there was never any uh, shortage. But at least it did focus uh, our thoughts and uh, those of many writers on this uh, rather interesting commodity and its history. Well, go back historically. The ancient Greeks used stones. The ancient Romans had an interesting little device. It was a stick with a natural sponge on the end of it. And they would sit on their stone toilets and be able to uh, finish off their business without ever having to stand up. Interestingly enough, today you can buy such a, a gizmo on uh, uh, Amazon, for example, for people who are overweight and who can't quite reach properly. But instead of having a sponge on the end, now there's a slot for uh, toilet paper. Uh, oh, such interesting things uh, historically. Uh, Madame Pompadour apparently favored French lace. Uh, in North America, various kinds of leaves were used to uh, do the white pink. And uh, there apparently were enough rumblings about all of this that the French uh, uh, writer Francois Rabelais in his uh, classic uh, Gargantua and Pantagruel had a whole chapter devoted to this uh, activity and concluded that the head of a well-downed goose uh, was exactly what you would want to use. Well, today I think we have gone past goosing in that kind of fashion because of course we have uh, toilet paper. The ancient Chinese actually in the 6th century already were talking about using paper in the imperial court. But in North America, toilet paper didn't make an appearance until 1857 when Joseph Gaetti had the idea of uh, selling this. But of course he had a problem because catalog pages were available for free, so were corn cobs, so he had to come up with a gimmick. So he played the health gambit and he insinuated that the ink from catalog paper had deadly chemicals in it, things like lamp black and, and chloride of lime. And his medicated paper was safe for the rear and it would not cause hemorrhoids and it would rob doctors of their fees. And uh, that's how toilet paper was born in, in North America. But a big breakthrough came when uh, a gentleman by the name of Seth Wheeler decided that rolls would be the way to sell this, especially if they were perforated. And that came in 1877. And uh, he uh, also talked about uh, the benefits of, of toilet paper not having any ink uh, in it. But it was really the Scott brothers who uh, put toilet paper on the national scene with their idea of infusing softness into the paper. And that's what they promoted, that toilet paper was soft. And there was a fascinating ad that they produced, which had a lady complaining to her physician that her husband was being unfriendly. And the doctor said, maybe it is because his toilet paper is too rough and he's being irritated. And they switched to wonderful new Scots uh, soft toilet paper, and they became the happiest couple, so the ad said. Well, today there's a lot of unhappiness about uh, COVID-19, but at least we can be happy that there's plenty of toilet paper to use. We don't have to worry about any shortages. And it can be chlorine free, it can be BPA free, and it can even be recycled. So there's no issue there. Just remember that uh, after you've used it, make sure that you close the lid of the toilet because there's some interesting data coming out about how fecal matter can be aerosolized and fecal matter has been shown to contain some of the, uh, of the virus. So be happy with the soft toilet paper, uh, make sure that you close the lid and uh, so it goes on with COVID-19.